day, hey, yeah, yeah. Been waiting for so long for this, yeah, 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 yeah. It's your man, CJC, straight from the 305 Miami. Yeah, I do this. Yeah, I rap. Just chillin', vibin'. I on they stack. Yeah, yeah, I know it's me. What we gonna do today? Yeah, we chillin', we vibin'. It's Sunday, sun's out. Everybody on what? Yeah, we going to a party, chillin'. Everybody know that I'm vibin', though. Everybody know that I'm chillin', though, vibin'. Everybody know that I do this, though. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what we gonna do, though? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, we chillin', vibin', though, and day. Yeah, welcome back. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's CJC. Yeah, y'all know. Yeah, it's me. Vibin'. Hey, 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 yeah. So sad. K, K, K. K, K, K. Young nigga, I got old cats spazzing on their ass. I got Prada on my whole ass. Yo, 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 chill, chill, I know, vibing, no, I know you know that I got something we chilling on. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Y'all yeah, know what it is, yeah, man. C to the J to the C. What we doing, oh, bruh? Bruh, it's me. Like, bye bye. Y'all know what you do. Hit that subscribe button. Stop playing with me. Room looking terrible, though. But I ain't tripping, though. I ain't tripping. You tripping. Because you know, I know that you know what we know. That you know, I, I don't think y'all caught that, though. Welcome back. We lit, bruh. If you're first time join my channel, you know what to do. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe. But if you want the best story time on YouTube, we vibing. Bruh, like I appreciate y'all. Welcome back. You came back to the best entertaining story time on YouTube because you know the vibes. You know. You know. Bye. Like, bruh, what we doing? Today is a lit story time. Y'all gonna love this one. This is about my ex. Flexing on my ex. I'm just starting on my ex. Huh? Converse number from the old western, like waters. You feel me though? You feel me though? Like, bro, you feel me? So, today's story time, we ain't gonna waste no time. Like, y'all already know, hit the bell, hit the like, hit the comment. Appreciate every single one y'all for coming. But so, today's story time, we gonna talk about, we gonna talk about why I broke up with my ex. Now, the way we met, the way it ended is always crazy. Like, I always, now for now on, the rule that I'm going by is the same way you met the person is the same way it's gonna question the whole relationship. How you met them is gonna, if it was a romantic meeting and y'all met like the right proper way, then y'all vibing, y'all chilling, nothing to worry about. But if you met at a club and you expect y'all relationship to go smooth and she ain't gonna go to the club scene back and even cheat on you without you knowing, you the person that's gonna be looking like a clown, you're gonna be looking like a goop, a silly clown, bro. Do you wanna be looking like a clown? You met somebody at a club who love drinking, who love dancing, shaking their ass and all that stuff, and you expect them to be in, in a committed relationship with you because you was the one and it just left that life. Like, yo, you was such the one, I'ma leave that life behind, not even focus on other guys like really they gonna cheat on you never gonna know you're I'm gonna be married for 35 years and she probably cheated with you in multiple men's probably catch, catch a disease too i'm just telling the truth <laughs> like i'm being brutally honest just face the facts the facts the facts though a uh, chill uh no and then um what else so the same way you met them is gonna describe how your relationship's gonna turn out that's how i see it now after my first experience mind you this was my first relationship ever like i'm talking about like September made 25 years of life, never had a relationship. And this is my first relationship ever. And mind you, all of this happened this year, 2019. This year, 2019. 
Now, the whole how I lost my V-card, it, it didn't happen this year. Even though I didn't have a girlfriend, like, I would tell that story time, but I got too much low subscribers. Like, I have a subscribe goal in mind before I ever tell the story of losing the card. And that was actually, like, last year. Like, you see, like, I was patient. I waited until, like, 23 years old. And that happened last year. But I'm not going to tell that story until I get the right amount subscribed because I want a huge audience the day I tell of how I lost my V-Guard. But, all right, let's get back to the story. So, the way you met someone is going to describe how the relationship is going to go. That's how I see it after my first experience with my first girlfriend. So, um... Basically, here's how we met. So I was on POF, and when I'm on POF, y'all do know what POF is, right? Plenty of fishes. Like if I have to tell, it's a dating app where like it used to be like Tinder's competition back in the past. When 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 POF first came out, it was relevant. It was like real. It was the real deal. Nowadays, that's where if y'all saw like um the tranny story time I did, not. Not the one I said, what the F, the one before that. Like, yeah, like, go watch that. That happened in POF. Like, POF is suspect because you don't know if you're talking to a guy or you don't know if you're talking to a girl. So much fake profiles, so much people only fan models and shit. So much, like, fake, fake, fake. It's just suspect as hell. So if you ever decide to start using Plenty of Fishes, the POF app, be careful and think smart. That's all I got to say. So basically, I'm going through the app and I'm going through profiles. Like, I always do that. It's just like you're going through Tinder, you just scrolling just to scroll because you're bored. Like, it's nothing like you looking for something. Maybe you're looking for something. If you find something good for you, you happy about it, you ain't even stressing. But I'm saying you on it, not really looking. you just bored and just trying to um, pass the time. So I was on POF and I'm just going through profiles like I always do. Just go every single girl profile, bam, bam. And like some of them, I message some of them like that. Some, cause like some girls, but I'm tired of shit. Like basically, they read your message, and even if you're not interested, just like, like, do you really think the person knows you read it? That's why you gotta continue to message you. But that's just like another conversation. Like, I know girls are like uh, upset when the guy keeps on messaging them and messaging them and messaging them, and they just screenshot and stuff. I get it, but sometimes I think some of y'all could just like straight up tell them not interested if you tell them not interested and they continue that then they the clowns they the fools but i just I, I like i don't i know it's not a big deal but i just don't like if you read a message and you just like you don't respond like i, I just feel like that's the most disrespect like like i understand why females do that though so i'm not judging y'all but i'm just saying like just say you're not interested let them know that you read it so they don't keep on like doing over and over thinking like maybe they ain't get me ain't get it. cause some guys are actually decent guys who's actually message you just trying to see like if you read it or not. Then there's the other clowns that know you read it but they just wanna play around. So just no difference between a good guy and a bad guy. All right, back to the story time. So um, I'm on POF, I'm going through profiles, doing my thing like I always do stuff like that. And um, yeah, I just like I always do that every single day. Then one day I'm online um, and my ex like, um, her name is Larissa. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I won't know her, but Larissa basically, uh, I don't mind saying her name though, but um, Larissa, she basically, uh, she saw, um, she saw me visit her profile and I didn't message her. So she messaged me. She said, "Hey," and I was like, "Hey," and stuff like that. And then she said, "What's going on?" Stuff like that. And then, um, I was like, "Nothing, but I was just chilling." And then we talked. We conversated. And it was a great conversation. Like the conversation was going great. Made her laugh. Then find out, and then to find out, like she Haitian because I said something funny, and then she was like, like, <laughs> like Asian expensive, like Ms. on me and stuff like that. Like I would teach y'all that Creole lingo though. That's another time. I just chill. I like, know, oh. like for real, real though. But um, she basically said Ms. on me, like when I said, it, and then I was like, I said, you Haitian? She said, yeah. She said, you Haitian? Like she said, wow, and all stuff. And I was like, yeah, we have a good conversation. Everything going good. Then basically, um. Basically, she said, here's her number, hit her up. Then, um, I, was it the same night or the next night? The next night, I think, I basically, um, she had said, hey, and I'm like, hey, and stuff like that. And she had said, call me, and I call her, and then we talk. Like, sometimes you want to see if it was the real thing when you was talking to someone, because sometimes if they personality match, we talked, and it was a great vibe. Like, we basically was talking, 
it was great experience, all that stuff and things like that and all the good stuff. And then she was like, OMG, like, why are you so funny? And I was like, <laughs> people always say that I'm funny. I don't even know what they be talking about. I know, but I'm just like, like I don't say it like that. She was like, yo, you like, you like super funny. Like you should be a comedian. I'm like, thanks. Mind y'all playing 2K. Then I had to adapt to the whole mindset. Like, I don't know what we was at that time. It was just, we was conversating every day and stuff like that. So I was like, I had to go through the whole mindset of like, someone contacting you every day like <laughs> bruh like you have to get that to your body like once you get someone in your life like bruh you ain't gonna be like you gotta get out of your head that um you could just live however you want stuff like that like con contacting a person communication is key and that's one thing i gotta say like after my first period communication is key and telling y'all how y'all feel the moment it happens don't wait and hold all that negative energy in and unleash it when y'all have an argument in the future Tell how you feel every single time in a relationship. That's what, like, that's why I always tell people, like, that f f messes up in a relationship and basically decide a relationship. So y'all just got to know the right thing to do and have the right mindset when y'all enter in a relationship. So, um, yeah, like, um, so, yeah, um, she called me every day. We talk, playing 2K, I'll be like, okay, so all that stuff. She's like, all right, things like that. And I found she from Miami too, like, damn. Then we basically add each other on Instagram and I think Snapchat, stuff like that. And she said, how you know this person? Wait, how you know this person? And she knew like a couple of people I knew from Miami, like shout out to my city, 305 in my city though. Y'all already know, Miami Dade County. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. Like we never met each other. Like it's funny how you be like meeting people from your hometown in other cities compared to like in your city. Like yeah, yeah, that, that never happened yet, y'all before? Y'all know that happened y'all before I stopped playing. But yeah, like basically, like, um, yeah, like um, we conversate, everything going good. It was vibing, chilling, all that stuff. And um, so then we got, had that whole conversation of like, oh, okay. And he said, oh, have you ever had a girlfriend? I was like, no. She said, what? He said, so what are you trying to say? Like, you, like, like, um, like, you still a virgin? I was like, yeah. And she was like, hold up. Mind you, mind you, though, I already lost it, like, last year. But it's, like, sometimes, like, y'all gonna hear the story of the day I lost it while I said, like, it's just, like, sometimes you don't count the way you lost it because, like, the experience, stuff like that. So you just, like, you just straight up tell her, like, I know, I didn't lose it. Mind you, did. But when y'all hear the story, with the, the day I decided to um, drop the story time of, like, how I lost the V card and stuff like that, y'all gonna see like what I mean by like why you say like it doesn't count because it didn't go the way it was supposed to. So I told her no, and even though I did, she said, oh, she's still virgin. She said, wow, that's what you mean. She said, that's crazy. She said, how old are you? I was like, 24. She said, you 24 and you still got it? I was like, yeah. Mind y'all lost that at 23. So I still did that long wait. Like, some of y'all just be rushing, bro. That's how people be catching STDs and stuff like that. That's y'all issue. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm good in my side, all right? That's y'all. So, um pregnancy and all that stuff child support like why y'all put yourself through this like bodies that y'all just want so much body counts while somebody just trying to find the right person and the right person with the mind frame to have the vibe with them and who knows like spending the time with like you want the one person like per three years you don't want like multiple people in one year you, people be catching like 50 bodies in one year that's crazy bro i'm surprised you didn't catch nothing but it's like um I was like, yeah, I'm a friend. He's like, wow. He said, that's crazy and stuff like that. And then um, <laughs> I was like, yeah. And then um, we was talking, talking back and forth stuff like that. And then I'm basically saying like, so we've been talking for a minute. So what do I tell you? Am I, are you my girlfriend? Stuff like that. And then she was like, she was like, it's up to you. Like, what are you thinking? I'm like, what do you mean it's up to me? I asked you a question. I, I hate when you ask someone a question and they be like, it's up to you. Like, what? Like what are you what are you talking about? Just like um, talk your piece. Like what? And then she was like, yeah, it's up to you. And I was like, yeah, okay, but what's your answer? And then she was like, um, she was like, you said I. She said yeah. She said you're my boyfriend. And I said and you're my girlfriend. I guess okay. So then I changed the contact with saying girlfriend. Like so this is my first relationship ever. Kind of excited, kind of nervous about it. So I'm like, yeah. But mind you, we didn't go on a date yet or anything. It was just phone conversation from POF to phone conversation to now boyfriend, girlfriend. And that's how it went. That's how it went. And then um, 
she, I basically told her that I ain't have a car. She was like, wow, she don't have a car either. Like, basically, we, we handled that during POF. Like, it was a big deal to her that I didn't have a car. And I think that's why I didn't learn because I did go back to her after we broke up the first time. Yeah, I know, stupid idiot. But it's just that you never find, it's rare you find a female where it's like, it's okay you don't have a car. You get me? Like, what? Like, some of them just like, once you say you don't have a car, it's a wrap for them. Like, you called it like, dee, dee, dee. like the number you have to die has been disconnected or no longer in service. So all of that, like, you, you just, you, you, you done. So basically, like, um, so basically, fast forward, um, she was like, yeah, do I want to come over? I said, yeah, the day I have money, I ain't get paid yet. I, I could order a lift. She told me where she lived, all that stuff. And then I went over, mind you, still no date, still none. And then went over and then, um, you finally met her, but it took like a long time because I kept on saying, making excuses. Then I was like, oh, you tripping? Because like, she wanted me, a, like she was upset that I didn't want to go on like a study day and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think that time I was still, no, I was done with school. But yeah, like it was just like, okay, I was too busy. I couldn't go. And then it was just like, oh, you keep on making mistakes. But, um, but like all that stuff. And I'm like saying, what? And then we, I finally went. So when I got to her place, she was like, look at you and stuff like that. Like, she was making fun of me. I was like, whatever. So um, we was chilling. We watched TV shows. Had a good time. And then uh, she said, like, if you want to sleep next to her, slept next to her and stuff like that. And then she tried to set the mood. Like, bro, like, you get me? Like, um, chill. Like, what the hell y'all doing? She tried to set the mood. Then she basically, like, um rubber her ass on my you know front part and stuff like that and it's like yeah like um okay <laughs> like you get me and then she basically like saying like oh no percent and i was like yeah i'm ready to basically kissing her on her neck try to do the bullshit and stuff like that and then basically she put her pants down and gave me <laughs> And then he gave me head. Like, bro, like, bro, I almost passed. I'm like, bro, that was a good what? But then, yo, and then we handled business. Then she was like, best part is like, she said, how you come and you still going? Like, that's rare for God. Yeah, I ain't hear nothing. I said, chill, chill. And then, yeah, yeah. then after that, after all the sex part, because she was basically saying, like, because I ain't like her energy, so I wouldn't break up. But she said, how about just sex? And I was like, what? And then she was like, yeah. And then I was like, but you have other guys in POF. And then we argued about it. She said, really? She said, she said you, you so disrespectful. Stuff like that. Then that's when I went to her place. And then, yeah, we had passionate love. Hit her. And then she was like, how you come and you still going? Like, yeah, that boy got that smell. Like, yeah, yeah, I ain't ready. Like, you know, but I'm not going to tell y'all that. Because the V-Car story time is more views. Like, I need way more subscribers than that. You feel me? Oh, you feeling what I'm feeling. That I know you feeling the feeling, though. Then after that, um, she was heading to um, back to Miami for like her birthday. Then I didn't really stress about all that. We did our thing, chilling. Um, then um, um, we had a sleepover. We had a sleepover. I went to her place. Uh, then basically, I'm trying to sleep after we watched the movie. She kept on tapping me. Then I wake up, she goes back to her phone, tapping me. Wake up, she goes back to her phone. And I'm like, why the hell you keep waking me up if we're not gonna do nothing? And we just finished watching the movie, like, let me sleep. She said, wake up. So, uh, so basically, I sat on a chair, watched that horse show for the whole stuff. She wake up in the middle of the night. She said, how, how you come over and you don't even want to sleep on my bed? She said, why you even came? Like, what the hell, you tripping? And I'm like, how am I tripping if I try to sleep? Like, whatever. Next morning, I wake up. She's packing for Miami. And I'm back. She said, aren't you going to sleep? I'm like, no. She said, man, you bugging and stuff like that. We had a huge argument. Headed back home. She kept on texting me. I was ignoring her. And then basically, she called me like everything was good while her friend was there. Like, hello? And I was like, yeah. And then basically, like, she said, all right, I'll call you back after I hung up. Blocked the number. Ignored her texting. She was like, I regret everything with you and stuff like that. It's just, I didn't have time for her anymore. It was just to a point where... Yeah, like I've had enough and things like that. And that's how we broke up the first time. That's how we broke up the first time. We, we got back together, but that's just for, that's part two. So y'all just need a chill though. But y'all already know it's your man C to J to C. Stay tuned for part two of why I broke up with my ex. And I appreciate every single one of y'all. Remember, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell, bro. Like, stop tripping. Y'all already know. Be breezy, though.